All right, first chart, let's go down the list, has to be NARC. I had to draw a NARC chart. NARC is basically, I don't know, it's a beast. We caught the bottom, short term. Hopefully this would be more than short term, it would be more, more of a long term bottom, but we caught the bottom. Looking at the daily right now, but we're gonna go actually into the weekly. It was selling off pretty, pretty hard. Couldn't, we already went over it on Sunday that 373 was a important level to close above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 rejections of 373. Definitely was a short. But where we went long, we started going long around 347. And then we got to the point where we opened up um, our weekly charts for a 30 SMA view. That was going to be a long entry. And they took it strong off that level. Um, basically looking for a close above 347.26 by Friday. I want to see what they do with this here. They can make this crazy they can they can make this hammer this week very crazy i'm looking for somewhere around 349 so around 347 to 349 if it goes any higher than that it's, it's a big gift but definitely take those profits i have limits in um daily chart looks great we're off the double bar Setting up nicely, nice box happening on the daily as well. Next target is 348.75, 14 SMA. So tomorrow's Thursday. Wouldn't be surprised if we vacuumed up to the to 358.61. So to targeting the 30 SMA would probably be the next rejection phase um, to complete for the monthly down. Like I said, the weekly has to touch first. Off SMAs, 14 and 30 have to test first for a bounce. Bounce off of that level, those two levels, and then the month, then when you open up the monthly chart, there's a monthly down that has to happen. It's not going to happen anytime soon, but it's going to happen. It's going to come. We don't know when it's going to come yet. But I give or take another two to three months, possibly. But we're going to catch it if we can. But right now, we're taking the short term, long route with calls. I'm moving pretty fast, but you guys can go over this. We got a nice little candle combo going here. So tomorrow we're targeting 347.26. We had a six point move today, possibly a seven point move, depending on how you look at it. If I actually did a daily, if I did it off of a daily range, it actually makes more sense to do. Today's range was 6.27, still not bad. Previous day was 7.23. Nice spinning top, basically giving us a short-term bottom, basically signals our bottoms in for now. And then previous um, day before that, which was Friday, we got a 15-point move down. No, this is actually Monday, 15-point move down. I'm sorry. But I like that. See these big red candles, then two, and then one big move. So I'm looking for something, 7.4. This is 7.48. I want to say definitely test this 14 SMA. It's been rejecting that ever since. So we get back above that 14 SMA. We should be good. A close above that tomorrow will signal a nice Friday for us, possibly 352. It'll be a nice payout. 349 gives us $9 and I think 20 cents per premium. I got to tell you guys, I mean, Wednesdays, I tell you guys my, my full positions. I have 100 contracts. My average is $2 for knock. Full disclosure. Guild, G-I-L-D. This one is fun. This one has been great. It's been paying very well. Um, it's been very interesting how it's been moving, but you have to also keep in mind about the whole um, exercising with another company. Um, it's staking to them, so basically purchasing more which brings the stock down. So we've seen that for two days now. First announcement was yesterday, then completion of today. Um, I want to look for a bounce with the 14 estimated to 6476. Put those premiums around five cents to 10 cents. If it gets there, I mean, it will make crazy for a nice lotto tomorrow. Bounces off this 14 estimated tomorrow, 
test the air, a nice gap down, and closes above, let's say, 65.80, 65.70. I mean, today's range on the daily was a dollar ten. So off of 64.75, a dollar ten is 65.86. We get a close there, and then we retest. I'm looking for at least 66.50. If we can get that by Friday, that would be awesome. Crazy, crazy payout. But tomorrow, I'm looking for a green day. If we get another red day, it's going to be pretty interesting. But I like how they keep closing it above, what is that, 63.37. Very interesting level. Not sure why, but they just, they've been focusing it there for a while. So GILD. Also, weekly is actually, I like the weekly. That's what keeps me. Keeps me in the my head in the game with this one. 30 SMA. I love it. They put it above it. They're holding it. They can hammer this. This would be awesome. I'll still take a 65.82 tomorrow. 66.17 close for the week would be nice as well. But we got to get over this level here, this purple level. We get over above that, we can get a big swing move into next week to 68. 70 calls for December are still working pretty well. Next up, we have PG. This PG move was amazing. Caught that bottom nicely. This is a weekly chart. I was thinking it was going to come down to the 30 SMA, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So that was short lived. Here's the daily chart. Nice box. Closed above 120.07. I was looking for that. Basically, closed at the high of the day today, which is very strong. And I like that for a continuation. Um, we could possibly see some news tomorrow. We can see some news Friday. I'll take the news Friday. And I'll just take, uh, I want to see a close. I'll see this on these. Test 121.90, this red bar here. Get above this red bar here tomorrow, and we can see 123 to 123.59. That would be nice. That puts our cause above $2 for Friday. Possibly more than that, if I'm correct. I, I, I did the calculations there, but I mean, it's pretty simple. It's, everything is there. I want to see exactly how, how we work tomorrow. And PG does not follow market. PG actually goes opposite of SPY majority of the time. And that's another thing I like that. That's a good hedge too for, for those that are not familiar with it. MET, a, a lot of volume in that today. I don't know if people were doubling down. There's other groups in it too. Um, I didn't like that. Like I don't like heavily, I don't like too much volume in a strike that we are in. I mean, if it's from us, I don't mind it. But as my team, you guys already know to buy time or to buy in the money to, so it's not, it doesn't basically stop the move. The more selling, the more it compresses the move from going, from continuing. But I like what happened under the day today with Matt, that run up. Definitely has that set up for a continuation. I mean, 49.98 would be impressive. They can do that by Friday. Keep this momentum going. That proof did nice as well. They get it over to 48.73. Get that above there. We get a close above that. Test 49 tomorrow. I mean, 49.36 gray bar. I don't see why, why we can't see that tomorrow depending on what type of day tomorrow is, to be honest. Met has been following SPY, so that's another thing. See, so yeah, I don't know if any of you were trading this, the lotto that I posted at 6750 calls. They actually doubled today. I sold some. Got to see what happens tomorrow. Might, pos might possibly get back into that. I had 100 contracts of those. So got a vacuum needs to happen for the 14 and 30 SMA. Maybe one will pull back and then a big move Friday. But everything has that good setup. I like that as well.
LXRX reports tomorrow. I cannot, there's not much I can say for that. I really, I barely follow that company. I mean, only traded commons and really trade um, contracts or options. Disney, I like this setup long term. Um, I mean, this channel, if this channel is the way it is, if this channel stays intact, Disney needs to definitely get above at least 135. 135, 136 gets above. That has a continuation into Friday. I mean, they report after the bell tomorrow, so I keep that into consideration. So if it's a gap up, they need a strong gap and, like, push. We got the 138. So, I mean, 139, 140 by Friday would be sick. Is the weekly chart. I mean, 136 is the 30 SMA. Price has been trading below the 14 SMA since August. Makes me bullish. I haven't checked the monthly on this one either, but um, let's see how the monthly is. Love the monthly as well. I mean, if they did push it down to 125, it actually corresponds here to this gray um, level on this flag. But it would have to be something that happens like in the morning and then just crazy hammer off. But I don't see that happening. But let's see what happens tomorrow after the close. I only got eight contracts, nothing, nothing serious. I'm, I, I got a lot of capital left to trade for tomorrow to add anything, any weakness that I see. And we're gonna get a lot of those for a nice Thursday lotto. Keep that in mind too. Starbucks, nice recovery today. I love the weekly. Weekly is very sexy as well. Daily is strong as well too. Nice falling wedge. Bounced off that purple level. Almost tested the 14 SMA today. I want to see us close above that tomorrow, targeting the 30 SMA, possibly by Tuesday, depending on how strong the move is. I mean, it has great Fridays when it's when it's in a long when it's in a nice trend. When when the setup is perfect, it can have a great Friday. We've done it before. <laughs> 